Hi guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be painting an Imperial Fist Command Squad from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. Please check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to their web store and you can go and check them out for yourselves. So also I want to say a huge thank you to uh, Rob who sent me these miniatures out for a commission and if it wasn't for Rob there would not be a tutorial so thank you Rob. and. As always guys, it's going to be a long video, so go grab yourselves a nice hot drink, or maybe a nice ice cold beer, and we'll get started. After cleaning the command squad using SIF cleaner, and then building them, it's time to prime them. I'm using a lacquer based primer, which I highly recommend on resin miniatures, as normal primer, uh, like the polyurethane primer from Vallejo, can flake off and also peel. So use a lacquer based primer or a spray primer on your resin. It's important to note that the Alclad primer that I'm using is very harmful if inhaled. So please make sure you're well ventilated and you're wearing a mask. Here I'm priming the miniature at 20 psi and I'm making sure that the miniature is completely covered in the Alclad primer. It's important to know that this primer goes down super smooth and thin guys so you won't be losing any detail on your miniatures at all but it'll leave a really nice tooth for subsequent layers of paint to be added onto. I'm going to start base coating the miniature using Games Workshop's air range of paints, Avalon Sunset. You can use their standard paint, Games Workshop's base Avalon Sunset and thin it down with Games Workshop's thinner just as, as well. You can also thin it with water. Again I'm working at 20 psi but I'm being a little bit more careful as I lay down the base coat and making sure that I get a nice even smooth coverage. I get asked a lot what airbrush I mainly use and my workhorse airbrush is my Awata Eclipse CS airbrush and I got this from airbrushes.com I'll put a link in the description box down below uh, from where you can pick up this airbrush as I highly recommend it as it's an all around great airbrush to use.
After I'd let the base coat dried of the Avalon Sunset, I'm coming back in with Vallejo Game Air Dead White, and I'm just highlighting areas that I think will look really cool, and also areas where the raised on the surface, where natural highlights would form. After laying down the highlight of the dead white, I'm coming back in with Vallejo Game Air Gold Yellow. This is going to really make the yellow start to pop. Now I'm going to add some of Games Workshop's Fire Dragon Bright to the banner. I'm just going to add it into all the areas where I can see that there's creases and this is going to really make the banner stand out and look cool. Now I'm going to be creating a black stripe going down the banner. I'm using Tamiya masking tape and I highly recommend you use Tamiya masking tape or a very good low tack masking tape as you do not want to pull up the paint that you've just painted. I'll let the paint dry for several hours before attempting to use the masking tape. Here I'm working at what I believe was 20 psi but I think it was a little higher so I actually stopped and lowered the psi a little.
After finishing all the airbrush stage, it's time to seal it all in with some gloss varnish. I'm using Vallejo's new metal colour gloss varnish as it sprays beautifully out the airbrush. It's important to note guys that it's not a good idea to use a hairdryer to speed up the drying process of this gloss varnish as it can crack and split the varnish. Also, the varnish dries really quick, so it's not necessary. I left the varnish to dry for about an hour, and then I'll come back in with subsequent painting layers. Here I'm using some microset from Microscale Industries just to place the decal onto the banner. I had a great difficulty placing the uh, decal straight on the banner because it's so curved. You'll see me uh, playing around with the uh, decal quite a lot here. The cool thing is because I'm using microset and the banners and decals quite wet I'm easily able to remove it from the banner and keep placing it until I'm satisfied with how it's sitting. Here I've made a custom mix using Ammo of Mix Rust Streaks. I made the mix using Ammo of Mix Rust Streaks and their odourless thinner. And I thinned it down two parts thinner to one part Rust Streaks. And it's created like a wash. Because the Space Marines were gloss varnished, it really helps in the wash stage. As I place the wash down, it wants to just sit in all the nooks and crannies and the recesses. So it helps greatly that the marines were gloss varnished. Also, if there's any stains left behind by the rust streaks, which is an enamel based product, it's easily removed using the odorless thinner that you can just wipe away any excess stains that you don't want. forgot to film the stage after applying the wash which was to matte varnish both marines. I used Vallejo acrylic matte varnish and I sprayed it at 35 psi. The reason for this is it's quite a heavy and thick paint and it struggles to uh, be sprayed out of an airbrush at low psi. Here I'm using Vallejo Game Air Black just to go around all the edges of the banner.
The metallics on the sword, the shoulder pauldrons and the backpack are being painted in Vallejo Game Air Gunmetal. Tabards are getting a base coat of Games Workshop Sandry Dust. The base is painted in Games Workshop's XV88. I always recommend thinning your paints down guys as you'll get a better finish but on the base as there's very little detail I actually just paint straight from the pot onto the base I'm going to be painting bronze onto the banner and I'm using Dark Stars Molten Metal Black and Bronze for the base coat. Games Workshop's Abshabti Bone is being applied to the tabards. I'm making sure that it goes on nice and thin and smooth and I paint in two thin layers to build up a nice even smooth coat.
here I'm using Games Workshop's Wild Rider Red to paint the lenses of the eyes on the Space Marines. After the Wild Rider Red dries, then I come back in with some Carabao Crimson and it gives a really easy 1-2 stage shade and highlight effect. It's important to note guys that you look at the tip of my brush here and it's in a very sharp point and it's important that you roll the bristles of your brush into a sharp point whilst trying to attempt to paint the lenses of a space marine or any other very very fine detail on a miniature. Here you can see I'm rolling the bristles of the brush into a really sharp point so I can paint the lenses on the Space Marine nice and easily. All the Vallejo Game Air Metallics that were painted in gunmetal are going to get two washes of Null Nile. After the first layer dries, I then come back in with a second layer. I really want the metallics to be really dark and dull on this uh, Space Marine. Agrax Earthshade is applied to all of the bronze metallics on the Space Marines. Games Workshop Seraphim Sepia is added to all of the tabards. Agrax Earthshade is applied to the base. Vallejo Game Air Silver is used to highlight all the gunmetal metallics. Dark Star's Molten Metal Copper is applied to all the areas that were painted in black and bronze and are high, used to highlight the black and bronze. And here we have the finished 
Imperial Fish Command Squad. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video guys. I've really enjoyed painting these and one of my biggest loves in this hobby is decals and I absolutely love putting that amazing looking decal down on the uh, banner of the uh, chapter banner dude forget what they're called but yeah <laughs> I really enjoyed it and like I say I hope you've enjoyed this video as well guys also uh, I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters if you're thinking of supporting me on Patreon guys please check the description box down below and you'll find a link to my Patreon down there and thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to hit the like button before you leave and I'll catch you in the next video